Hello, I'm Mrs. Boldute, counselor at Desert Shadows Middle School. Today you will be learning about registration for 7th grade using the yellow registration card that your teacher has passed out to you. Please note, if you have been admitted into one of Desert Shadows Middle School's academies, your card will be a different color. Please have your card in front of you as we explain the steps for filling it out. As you look at the card, please notice at the top it says, Please fill out in blue or black ink only. Please be sure to use a blue or a black pen. We will begin on the right hand side of the card where it says 6th grade teachers only. This portion of the card is to be filled out by your current 6th grade teacher only. You will not do anything on this part of the card. Moving to the left hand side of the card, we have the electives listed. This is a very important piece for you. Be sure to read it carefully and understand what you are choosing. You will find course descriptions for all of the classes that are electives on the back of your card. Let's take a moment now to look at how our day is set up at Desert Shadows Middle School. You have eight periods during the class day. Seven of those are classes and one is lunch. As you look at this sample, you can see the ones in green. You will be automatically scheduled for these core academic classes. English, Science, Social Studies, and Math, and of course, Lunch. Your teacher will place you in the right level of these classes. The other two classes are elective classes, classes that you get to choose from the list on the card. Let's take a look at the card and see what your options are for the different electives. Full year courses are the classes that you would be in from the time school starts in August all the way through May. They include Beginning Band and Beginning Orchestra, Concert Band, Advanced Band, and PE. PE is also offered for just a semester or half the school year. If you check one of these options under Full Year, you will be in there for a full year from August through May. The bottom half shows semester-long classes. These classes last half of the school year. These include Art and Ceramics, Digital Concepts, Spanish One, French One, PE, Drama, Mixed Chorus, Guitar, Percussion, Neuroscience and Forensics, and Principles of Engineering. As you can see, we offer a lot of choices at Desert Shadows Middle School. Please be careful when making these choices. Make sure that you choose classes that you would like to take next year. We hire teachers based on the choices that you make on this card. For example, if 300 students all want to take French next year, we need to be sure that we have enough classes of French for these students. So please be careful, take it seriously, and talk it over with your parents as well. We do our best to place you in the classes that you choose. After registration ends, however, we are not able to make schedule changes. This is why it is so important that you choose your electives carefully. an example of what your schedule may look like if you choose two full year classes. If you chose band and PE, both full year classes, your schedule may look like this. You would have these classes for the entire school year. You also have the option of choosing one full year class, such as band, and taking two other semester long classes such as French and Drama. Your schedule would look more like this.
Your third option would be to have all four elective choices semester-long classes. Your schedule would look something like this. First semester you would have French, then second semester drama. You would start in PE and at the semester you would change to mixed chorus. In this example, I have chosen band as my first choice, Spanish as my second choice, and my third choice is drama. It is important that you rank order your choices. If you are choosing semester courses, you would number your choices with a 1 by your first choice, a 2 by your second choice, a 3 by your third choice, and a 4 by your fourth choice. Then you will indicate your alternate choices. Put an A next to your first alternate choice and an A2 next to your second alternate choice. If we can't give you your first four choices, we will go to your alternates to choose your electives. Finally, at the top of the card, be sure to sign and date where it says student signature and date. Make sure to have your parents sign and date where it says parent signature and date. Now go ahead and print your name in the upper right hand corner of where it says student name printed. That way if you lose your card, your teacher will be able to get it back to you. Now that you are familiar with our registration card and how to complete it, let me remind you that the course descriptions are on the back. You will want to read those carefully. Please be sure to turn in your card by the due date that the teacher tells you. Make sure you mark your elective choices and alternates clearly and be sure to get your card signed and dated. If you are interested in seeing this video again for more help, it will be posted on our school website at www.pvschools.net forward slash DSHMS. Thank you so much for your attention, and we look forward to seeing you next year.